As many across the country reflect on the Capitol breach on January 6th, the impacts of that day continue to affect our everyday lives. 23 ABC's Vanya Patino spoke with our political analyst about what this means for current politics and how misinformation and social media have played a role. Vanya. <laughs> that are right here behind me continue to remind us of the divide that exists in the nation. But that divide started long before January 6, and as our political analyst explained, it only cemented those sides for most people. I think the question that people have on their minds on this anniversary is, is there going to be a price to pay at the polls for what happened on January 6th uh, since Donald Trump was a Republican? Uh, and it seems like the Republican Party was kind of backed on its heels uh, in the wake of what happened a year ago. That's a question from 23 ABC political analyst Jeremy Adams that remains on the minds of both parties, including for Matthew Martin of the Kern County Republicans and Christian Romo of the Kern County Democrats. Three hour destructive protest. That was wrong. That was wrong, and they'll pay the price for that. We have a judicial system. But what we're seeing everyday Americans across this country, total lack of regard for life and the prosperity uh, that we're all afforded in this country. And so that's what we stand for, have stood for, and will continue to stand for. Thank you. That is, is the lesson that we have learned, is that we need to continue to mobilize. We cannot ever take our democracy for granted ever again. And with every generation, it's our responsibility to teach them to foster that democracy, to educate, to mobilize, to empower citizens. According to the chair of the Kern County Democratic Central Committee, Christian Romo, since the 2020 election, Republicans still have a strong hold in terms of party resignation trends in the county, but they did see a slight increase in Democratic registrations concentrated in the Metro Bakersfield area. Meanwhile, Adams argues most people are independent, agreeing with opinions from both parties. But the mistrust and obsession over politicians is only furthering this divide. At some point, there has to be a willingness of the side that lost to reach out and say it was legitimate. What happens in a democratic society when the side that loses always says, ipso, ipso facto, if I lose, it had to be rigged. If you do that, it destroys the legitimacy of the institutions that you are trying to run. Well, Adams adds social media misinformation and people running on extreme ideas for attention are not helping the situation. At the Life Center, Vani Patino, 23 ABC News, connecting you.